Hey everyone, Edgar Wright became a director to look out for when he released Shaun of the Dead back in 2004. He released two unconnected films within 10 years, which has become known as the Cornetto trilogy. Each film is in a different genre to each other, a zombie comedy, bloody cop comedy, and an alien invasion comedy. We're teaming with Simon Pegg and Cole Varter, who we directed on Space with. Shaun of the Dead became an instant hit with critics and audiences. I absolutely love this film. Had a blast at the cinema, laughing from beginning to end. The characters are very memorable, where each has their own quirk really. One thing that was very noticeable in Shaun of the Dead is its transition shots. Edgar Wright would take something like a pint being pulled and make it look like the most appealing thing. These exciting fast editing shots will become a staple for the Cornetto trilogy. Shaun is a brilliant character that is developed really well. At the start of the film, he's a slacker who has his priorities all wrong in life and doesn't appreciate the relationships that he has. Throughout the course of the story, you see him step up to the plate, becoming the man that not only Liz, his girlfriend, wants him to be, but who he really should be for himself. Shaun of the Dead is a 9 out of 10. Very funny, the pacing is electric, it makes the zombie drama its own, and it's very rewatchable. Hot Fuzz was released in 2007, and this film takes its time for the last. It builds up slowly throughout the opening 20 minutes, and boy is it worth waiting for. Just like Shaun of the Dead, the editing is incredible and has very memorable characters. Opposite to Shaun, Nicholas Angel has his priorities in life too in line. It's actually affected his relationships in a negative way. Meeting Danny, he begins to relax and allow himself to enjoy small moments whilst also searching for a murderer. This buddy cop flick is very quirky and has great dialogue. Also featuring the likes of Olivia Coleman, Jim Broadbent, Paddy Considine, makes for a brilliant cast. Hot Fuzz is a 9 out of 10 as well. Slow building, but it all built up to an all out hilarious action sequence that pays homage to certain moments in great films like Point Break. The story is great with a lot of laugh out loud moments. Released in 2013, The World's End was a take on Invasion of Body Snatchers. The ending of the Cornetto trilogy was met with great reviews. However, I really didn't like this one and I've tried many times to enjoy it. The World's End has everything the previous films had, returning cast members, same writing, great editing, good action sequences, the only thing that was missing was great characters. Gary King is an extremely unlikable character, and not one you should be rooting for. He's childish, he's a liar, manipulator and selfish. What's really annoying is that he doesn't develop for it the film. Who he is at the start of the film is who he is at the end. It doesn't care for his friends, doesn't support his friend that stopped drinking, or his friend that was a victim of bullying at school. It's a really big, insufferable part of the film. Unfortunately, there's nothing else to enjoy in World's End, as do the rest of the characters are really dull. Too many straight characters with no real depth or quirk, like Shaun of Dead and Hot Fuzz had. The film is really focused on two things, drinking and fighting aliens. The action is good, however there's no real humour to it for me. Hot Fuzz has so many funny moments within its action, and World's End just doesn't. World's End is a 4 out of 10. Great technically, shot well, great editing and action, but terrible characters and writing really let this film down. Doing an alien invasion story was the right call, however following a very unlikable lead and weak supporting characters made it an unsatisfying watch. Even the fence bit wasn't good. Let me know what's your favourite of the three Cornetto flavours in the comments guys. Like and subscribe, take care.